in St. Lucia, we all want to see an arrest. An arrest? Okay. But in my opinion, we should all want to see a thorough and proper investigation that elucidates the facts. A seemingly pensive police commissioner, Vern Gard, addressed media inquiries about an ongoing alleged sexual misconduct case involving a senior officer at a press conference held at Chesterfield on Tuesday. I have had a conversation with the senior person responsible for the team where investigation is attached to. The file was submitted to my office and I was woefully disappointed in the conduct of that file. The case has sparked intense media scrutiny and political debate with allegations and counterclaims. But what does the evidence actually show amid all the controversy? Commissioner Guard has expressed frustration with the case file. I found the file to be brief, inadequate, and it lacked the necessary points to justify the submissions that were made. The top cop stated that directives have been issued for a more thorough investigation. Okay. I have indicated to the supervisor that it is their responsibility to ensure that all further lines of investigations are met in regards to that particular matter and resubmit the file to me. So the file, HTS, the file that I have on my desk, it um, contained um, a witness statement from uh, several persons and essentially one or two other bits of investigations but did not satisfy okay, the pronouncements um, that were made in my humble opinion. The facts in this particular matter, especially one of them, are facts that are almost 13 years old. And as a result, there needs to be a course of investigation to elicit evidence sufficient to the importance of the matter and sufficient to the evidence needed to make certain conclusions. The police so commissioner urged the public to allow due process to take its in course opinion, in the ongoing case, or avoiding speculation and ensuring a fair and impartial investigation. Saying, Tula Alfred, HDS News Force.